everybody, this is Arturo. This is a, a video showing the process of a, a new series of images that I worked on recently. Um, this uh, the horse series. I did a bunch of uh, character designs based on different horse breeds and uh, different horse jobs. The the reason for this is that my my wife is loves horses and everything that has to do with horses. Um, she loves riding, she loves uh, the whole medical part of it, and it's it's a huge, huge part of her life. Uh, she's, she's really dedicated to it because it's, it really fills up her tank, you know? It, it really fills her with a lot of joy. And so I have to tag along with uh, to some of the events that she likes to attend. I, others I really don't, because um, I'm not that into it as, as she is. But I I do like uh, the beauty of uh, of horses and uh, the the design of, of the the animal, you know. So it's a really cool animal. And so this particular piece that I'm working on right now is, is a, a Frisian horse, which is a, a beautiful horse, if you ask me, the most beautiful horse. It's, it's so, so fancy, so elegant. And so I, I tried to envision uh, how these animals would look as uh, an anthropomorphized. And um, that's what I came up with. Uh, in this particular case, for the Frisian horse, uh, I, I thought of uh, those romance novel covers, you know, corny romance novel covers where you have Fabio with his uh, shirt open, muscles out, you know, bare chested, and uh, the woman thrown at his feet or, or whatever. And uh, that's that's the impression that I got when I when I look at these horses and how flashy they are. That's the key word, flashy. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an impressive horse, and um, physically impressive. And I wanted to uh, to showcase that, you know, how do I... What comes to mind when I look at this particular animal? How fancy it is, okay? And, and that's what I, I came up with. I, I did a whole series, I did 12 uh, of these characters. I will show them at, at the end of this video, but um, it was a it was a fun exercise because you think of, of the whole all the different uses and the different styles of horses that there are. I didn't take on all the different styles, but uh, for instance, I started uh, with the dressage diva because my wife practices a lot of dressage because of all the. Uh, benefits that it has for uh, training horses and the development of a horse so she says I mean I'm, I don't know it's 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 a bit uninteresting to me the whole process because I don't I don't really know what's going on I don't know uh, if, if somebody's doing something right or wrong and, you just, and you're just like uh, okay I guess you know but but she likes it so there's that and my, my daughters like it too. They like uh, they like to go horse riding. I mean, they're they are on their way to go horse riding right now. So that's that. And, um, and like I was saying, yeah, the dressage diva, and because uh, it's 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 a very fancy kind of the the way that they train the horses to move. It's it's pretty impressive when it, when it's done right. I mean, it's not. That interesting. I mean, the most interesting thing, I guess, uh, well, compared to that, would be horse jumping, you know, but obstacle jumping, actually. Have you, obviously, <laughs> you don't jump the horse. Um, but, anyways, so I did that. I did the, the mounted police horse, you know, so I, I did a, a horse as a cop. That was the most popular one. So far, I was really happy with the how that one came out, because uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of seriousness and silliness, 
You know, it's it's an it's an equal balance of <laughs> things that that amuse me. They're silly and serious. And uh, I, I posted up all the all these different uh, pieces on my Redbubble uh, shop. You'll I'll, I'll post the link in the description so you can see it, and where you could get T-shirts or notebooks or stickers or uh, tote bags or all different sorts of items with uh, these pieces of art in them. But anyway, back to the series. Uh, that was one of my favorite ones, the, the mounted police horse. Another one was the, uh, the horse therapist, so because horse therapy is a big deal. You know, a lot of people that are going through anxiety or depression or addictions or other, or, or other things that need some sort of rehabilitation go to equine therapy. That's that's one of the things that my wife started doing. She started volunteering at a at a ranch or at a place that, that did that sort of thing. And she's she's really big into that. And so I designed a, a, a horsey Sigmund Freud, you know, and uh, that one came out great. I mean, I, I was happy with how that that one came out. Uh, another one was. Uh, the, the war horse. So I was inspired to create um, a soldier because they, they were a big part, I mean they have been for centuries, uh, part of uh, either law enforcement or, or battle, you know, war, part of the cavalry and, and those sorts of things. And I was inspired by my father-in-law because I, I did that piece close to Remembrance Sunday and uh, Veterans Day that, that is held in the U.S. Uh, and uh, the only real veteran that I know is, is my father-in-law. He served in the Korean War on the British side. And so I had to investigate um, the uniforms uh, for, for that particular period and that particular war. And it was so cool to find all these websites dedicated to the recreation of the uniforms and the reference that you can find to be uh, as accurate, accurate as you can. And they show you the, the winter uniform and the, and the uniform for all the other occasions and you're like, all, or all the other seasons. And it was really cool. It was really great because, as I always state, reference makes the job a whole lot easier and a whole lot better. You know, you can try to work from your imagination till the cows come home, but it will not exceed or it won't be better than it is if you're using reference, if you're using uh, real life and real history as, uh, as, a, as a guiding light. You can break the rules after that or mix up different concepts, but it, it really brings it home to do something that more realistic. I used this uh, cross-hatching technique for all the pieces. It was, it was really time-consuming. I mean, I liked the look of it, but it, it took a lot of time. If, if, I, if I am to make more pieces in the series, I might think of a more simplified art style. Because I'm, I'm doing these for fun. I mean, I'm doing these for me. They're, they weren't part of a commission or, or anything like that. So I, um, I need to manage my time properly. You will see at the end of this video in a few, uh, I'll post the lineup of all 12 horse characters that I worked on. Like I said, some are focused on the breed of the horse 
you know, and others are on the job of the horse. I have a, a barrel racer horse, I have a, a Spanish horse, which was a flamenco dancer, you know, because Spanish horses are so fancy and flashy, you know, that's how they move their legs. Like, look at me, look at me, check this out. And so, I mean, you, you gotta appreciate that sort of thing. It's, uh, it's really cool. Another thing I worked on was uh, this huge Shire horse. You start looking into those things. I, I really love those gigantic, you know, like the Clydesdale horses. They're so cool. But, uh, you know, not, not particularly practical to, to ride, or so I hear. I haven't been making videos in the quarantine because I've been either busy or just focused on other things. You know, trying to finish my Asón Contra Gigantes project and doing these uh, side projects to, um, to while the other is in the slow cooker. This is the lineup. Uh, I'm doing 3x3. Three three. I'm really happy with, with how these came out. I hope you guys like them. Uh, like I said, I will post the the link to the Redbubble shop in the description if you want to check out the different items that they have with uh, with this artwork. To so get a gift for a loved one that loves horses, and uh, hope they like it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's all I can say. My wife likes them, so that's the cool part. Anyway, here are more vi uh, links to other character design videos. I will hope to, to post more videos soon, uh, stay tuned, subscribe, take care, stay safe, bye bye.